Thank you for tuning in to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. What I have here is another Type 4 board. This one has no markings on it, so I'm going to call this a generic, probably 1500 watt Type 4 Class D board. Um, so, what I do very first thing when I go through these boards, here's a shot of the board for you, the whole board is I go around and I make sure all the drivers are still good, the output drivers. So as you can hear through my good old fluke meter here that I do have a shorted 2T here. Um, the uh, first 2X on the drive here that pulls it, to, pulls it to negative rail is good. And then I have a 2X down here that is also shorted. So what I have is I have a shorted 2T and a shorted 2X on the negative rail drive. So I will go ahead and pull those off real quick. I'll get those replaced. And just as an FYI, these two uh, top, let me see if I can get a better shot here for you. These two uh, transistors here, these two T's, this 2T and 2X, is on a very large trace so uh, you have to be real careful with your iron uh, when soldering and desoldering these transistors I preheat this area to help with the problem of trying to solder these uh, correctly so I will be right back with you when I get these replaced all right I have replaced the 2T and 2X over on the low side drive, let me just get a Q-tip real quick here. Clean this up just a hair. Hopefully my uh, sound is a little bit better. Uh, someone had left me a comment, give me some good suggestions on the sound. I do have my uh, Yeti microphone up on sound dampening off the bench so hopefully things don't come through as uh, real pronounced noises so we'll fire this board up here and see what we got going on uh, you can see the scope in the upper left hand corner there the first thing I'm going to do is look for drive so I'm going to go ahead and fire up the board here I do have a blue light on so let's see what we got for drive here. So pin 11, we do have our square wave drive. And pin 10, we do have our square wave drive. Uh, so there's uh, the, the card is telling me that at least the card is good, just, uh, just based on that output. So now what I'll do is I'll follow my drive. I will come out and see and make sure I have it on the opto coupler so let me get my voltage here set to where you can see the drive so there's the uh, rail to rail opto coupler and then we have our negative rail opto coupler so what we'll do then from there is make sure that my opto coupler is Creating drive on the output, make sure the optocoupler is good, which it is. Let me get it triggered right. So there's our low side, our negative rail drive, and then our optocoupler for the high side, or excuse me, rail to rail. Should be right there it is. So there's our rail to rail. rail rail for you so we should see oh so that is not good for the high side or the rail to rail drive but do we have our negative rail drive yes we do have our negative rail drive but I'm not quite liking what I'm seeing here this should come up as a a, a drive you should be able to see it it'll, it it'll look a little messy but it shouldn't look like that looks like one of the drive transistors here is 
not working the way it should. Which it looks like it's going to be Let's just find my signal here where I'm losing it. Looks like it's right here. Yes, this 2x here, as you can see, needs to be replaced. So let me replace uh, let me replace these 2x's on this side. Now we'll get this uh, drive cleaned up. All right, welcome back. So what I've done is I've replaced the two 2x transistors here and uh, we will go ahead and fire the board back up and we will check and see what we got. So on the rail to rail drive, as you can see on the scope, we do have a good rail to rail drive now. Uh, this is normal to see how it's squiggly at the top and bottom. That is normal because the bank is not loaded with any of those uh, 640Ns. So I do have what I expect to see on the rail to rail side and I do have what I expect to see on the negative rail drive. Um, so based on this and seeing what I'm seeing, I feel very confident now that I can load each side with a couple of those 640Ns and um, I can test the input pin one of the drive card and make sure I have a good uh, output signal going through the inductor and the output filter capacitors. So uh, let me um, let me get some 640 input in this. And I'll be back with you again. All right, welcome back. I have got some 640 ends installed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the board now. We're just going to go ahead and check and make sure I got good proper drive now. I do have a blue light and um, let's see what we got. So there's our rail to rail drive looking spectacular. And then our negative rail drive is looking perfect all right so uh, from here what I'll do is I will put in a 50 Hertz signal and we will check the output of this board so I will turn the power off get my RC jacks installed here Go ahead and switch views. So I have the 50 hertz signal now going into the amplifier. Got a blue light coming on for us and I'll go around here and check the output terminal with my and see what we got. Get my scope adjusted and there as you can see is our 50 hertz signal. So this board has been repaired. It's just some uh, drivers, some two T's, two X's, uh, had to be replaced. Uh, other than that, there was nothing else that needed to be done with this board. So I will uh, get this packaged up, shipped out to the owner, and move on to the next one. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave them down below, and I uh, will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Catch you on the next one.